This week on the VFX show, we're going to be teaching you how to do this effect from my new movie, Clone Shootout. Welcome to the VFX show. I hope you guys liked my video. If you haven't seen the video yet, uh, click where I'm putting the annotation anywhere. Anywhere at all. It's probably going to be down here though. Okay, so anyways. <laughs> what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the explosion. We're going to teach you how to do the explosion. And also, while I'm going to be showing you how to do the explosion, I'm going to be teaching you how to do roto brushing and also motion tracking with Mocha. I'm using After Effects in the Action Essentials pack. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let's take it over to the tutorial. Welcome, welcome to the tutorial of the explosions for the VFX show. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do explosions. And on the uh and while I'm doing that, I'm going to be teaching you how to motion track with roto <laughs> motion track with Mocha and roto brush with uh, the roto brush too. It's basically masking out, but way easier. I'm not actually going to show you the whole entire thing because it is going to take a while for roto brushing. So we'll just double click on your video, uh, and then you select the roto brush tool, which is this icon right here. It's called the roto brush tool. Then you'll have this thing. My brush is pretty small because last time I had a roto brush, I had a roto brush something very hard to roto brush. Okay, anyways, let's just uh, cover him. You just basically just cover him like this. And make sure most of it is most of him is hmm, roto brushed. So just do that until you got a good mask. And actually, you don't even have to do it at the beginning because there's no nothing going to be behind him. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Okay, if you guys want to uh, delete something that's not supposed to be covered, press Alt and then this negative thing will come in. And then just click on it and then should go away, as you can see. And then the shoes are kind of hard to do. But actually, if you like slow the footage down on uh, in the after while you're watching the video, you can actually see like some of the gun is missing, some of his head is missing. But it's so fast you can't even you don't even notice it. So yeah, okay. So let's just get a smaller brush here to get the gun here. The gun's pretty hard because it's a smaller thing and pretty hard to roto brush. I'll just get that little area right there. And basically you just press play and if it messes up just uh... if it messes up just hit the uh... Just hit stop and, and stuff like that. And if it stops like that what you have to do is uh... This thing right here, this like little grid type thing, just drag it out all the way to the end of your footage, and then just press play. As you can see, the gun's gone and stuff like that. It's not very good brush, but you have to just stop it and then fix it uh, and then it will automatically put itself in the f foreground okay that's how you do that 
Okay. So, once you open up your composition, you'll just see black background. That's because you've masked him out already. So, don't do that. So, I messed that up. So, <laughs> I wasn't actually supposed to do that. So, just uh, duplicate your footage and go to the bottom one and just delete the rotor brush tool. And then, if we delete this footage, we have the one uh your uh, person in front and the background in back so pretty simple okay to uh help your uh mat a little bit we'll just uh click on refine mat and uh i also like to bring it up to 100% reduced chatter because usually it's all like and nobody likes that and sometimes i must feather choke just mess around with it and see what you like Okay, so let's get to the motion tracking. Okay, I'm in Mocha here. I just imported my footage by going to File, New Project, and importing your footage in the uh, file trajectory. <laughs> That's not even a word. Okay. Well, it is a word, but... Okay, so anyways. <laughs> okay, what we're going to do here is... Uh, just going to... The uh, explosion is supposed to be back here. But we can't really motion track back there because we don't really have footage of the background. Okay, so I'm just selecting this grass here. Maybe we'll just uh, find some harsh light or something. Oh, okay. And then just once you're done, you right click. Um, actually, let's get it on this bush here so we've got more information for the uh, tracker to track. And just let it track. Okay, let me just pause this right. Okay, looks like it's done tracking. Um, as you can see, it's a pretty good track, I guess. Doesn't have to be perfect because this is just a t little video. Okay, so anyways, go to After Effects and then go to Layer New Null Object. Then once that's done, you go to export tracking data, and I like to use After Effects Corner Pen supports motion blur .txt, which is text. And just press copy to clipboard. Once you're once you're done copying to clipboard, uh, just go to edit. Make sure no one is selected, and press paste. Should be tracked on there. Okay, it's tracked on there, so let's go into the explosion. Okay, okay, let's go to the explosion. Okay, so I'm going to import some Action Essentials files. Um, I don't know which Accent Essentials files I'll open up. It'll just be. We'll just, uh. S go with the flow, I guess. So, I'll be right back. <clears throat> okay, I think I got some. Good, uh. uh Accent Essentials stuff. So, um. Let's see here. We'll add in the dirt charge in between these two assets okay so here we go we want the explosion to go on back here behind him we, it doesn't matter where we put it but I want it like right around here but still we got this uh, you know like ground thing so what we'll do is click the mask button masking tool and we'll just cut that off. Then we'll go to we'll just press F and then we'll feather it. But as you can see you can still see a little bit of it, so we'll just bring that up a bit. Okay. 
so now we got the dirt charge. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, if you do that, go to undo, change value. And what I really, really suppose, uh, really think you should do is click this button to lock it so you can't move it. Neither this footage. We'll just go to edit, undo, change value, and then lock that footage. So then you can't move them around. Okay. Okay, there's the explosion. Now what we're gonna do well not the explosion yet. What we're gonna do is parent this to uh parent this uh dirt charge to the no one. And or just clicking this and doing that. Okay, since we got the dirt charge what we're going to do is add some motion blur, so we'll just click on that and click on that. So now the, expo the uh, dirt charge explodes. And usually the dirt charge starts off an explosion because, you know, bl blows up. Okay, let's add in the explosions. I think this is the explosion I actually used in the video. I'm not really sure. But size it down. Uh, nah, me. Oh, let's see. We'll just position this below the dirt charge and make sure the explosion goes off behind it. And it does that. So, yeah, okay. And then we'll add in the other explosion just to add more oomph. Well, some people when they uh, do explosions, they uh at like they put add to the explosions, like they go to toggle switches and modes and uh go to the explosion and click add so it'd be like more light. I didn't do that in this video, but it's a cool idea, I guess. I guess. Okay. Okay, so this explosion, we'll just put it rent. Okay, I don't think we need this explosion, but I think that'd be kind of cool to add. Yeah, that's gonna be cool. That'd be cool. Shpoo. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so, um. That's basically how to add an explosion um... then you just add some sound effects uh... uh... in the description i'll hopefully i'll add some sound effects to the uh... margin but as you can see here the explosion kinda goes overboard i don't know which one that is kinda goes overboard somewhere around here. What I'm just going to do is just click on the one that I think it is and scale it down. And there's this like straight line. I don't know if you can see it on this uh, particular explosion. This explosion will hide that. Then we'll add, well, then we'll put add to that explosion. So then they blend together. And that's how you make an explosion. But first, let's just put down that. Okay. That's how you do an explosion. Hope you guys liked it.